stages, which escapes out the back and absolutely shreds the micrometeorite shielding panels located there. Though the damage is entirely cosmetic and not structural in any way, as Orion nears Casper in lunar orbit just two hours after ascent, Ken Mattingly is astonished to see just how torn up the aft section of the ascent stage really is. It was a one-orbit rendezvous, complete with automatic radar tracking and all four guidance computers working in perfect conjunction. It was flawless. Okay, Casper, we have you visually. Glad to hear it. I don't have you yet. Well, Jim, the sunset is spectacular. Bet it is. Man, that, I can see that thing, uh, light of yours, at 70 miles in the telescope, even. Okay, Jim, we're uh, three miles out, closing. Guess we don't need to tell you, but this is a sweet machine. You're so right. A little tiny black dot. See, I need to die. I can't tell about the bottom. On the back side, uh, the mylar blankets are still intact. It's only that uh, outer covering is broken. Okay, you have station keeping on maneuvering. Uh, the things I'd like for you to look at are, you remember on the aft shelf of the assembly, there's uh, two booms back there. 